one. My face is getting like a rubbish in the background. I can take these out, but it's just a mess of the world. I'm not even doing this, does it? But <laughs> yeah, um, good morning. It's currently, it's actually November now, but not doing November. Um, it's actually a firework night, but I don't think we're going to do anything because it's raining and. Oh, my weather just looks so bad. But, yeah, it's currently half nine and Grayson is still in bed, so I can't quite believe that, to be honest. He never, ever, ever usually sleeps his way. But he did go to bed about 11, so. Yeah, because my child just doesn't like sleeping anymore. Like, honestly. Like, it's so hard because, like, I physically don't get a break from Grayson at all. Like, we wake up at the same time and he goes to bed when I go to bed. So, it's literally, like, 20... I'm with him for 24 hours a day. Like, I've got up now. I will wake up at 8, so I've got up an hour. But I'll just be laying in bed. No doubt. So I'll probably wake up any minute because... He never ever ever sleeps in past half night like that's late for him so yeah i'll go back for coffee because i feel like death <laughs> um i've got the worst pelvic pain ever like it's so bad i'm currently 22 weeks and four days pregnant uh the pelvic pain is just not nice at all like it hurts a lot like i'm literally struggling to walk move like every time i toss and turn at night i wake up because of the pain um it's not nice but anyway i'll go make a coffee um and just go chill till he wakes up i guess it's 10 to 10 grayson has just woke up have it all okay i take that one as well go on then babe oh i don't feel good today i really don't feel good like i don't know i just feel rough i just 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 don't feel 100 percent, and the weather is it's not nice either which is brilliant um but yeah you're gonna watch blip it my friend's a mess yeah i'll put blip it where's the control here it is he's obsessed with blippy like obsessed wow so say so good morning Good morning. Take that out. We've got bedtime. Mommy. Say good morning. Say good morning. You don't want to. Mm. I just give my flat a little tidy. I need to hoover so I've just like not cleaned. I've just tidied up. Um, I need to go food shopping today. Like badly. But oh, I feel like I'm Aldi. I always go to different places and... Went as the last time. I'm gonna go Aldi today, um, but I just hate food. I hate going food shopping. Oh, you're so strong! Put it on the table. But um, I never know what to get. Like, I never know what to get. I need to try and make a food plan, but I'm just shit at it. <laughs> not gonna lie, I'm just not good at stuff like that. Um, so I think I might watch some YouTube videos or something of like weekly food shops and food plans and things because I feel like I always go shopping and then I come back and I'm like, what have I even got? So yeah, I yeah, but if I make a list, I feel like I never look at it. Anyone else get like this? So I'm trying to do like a weekly meal plan and you only stick to this or not. It's a different story, but so far I've got like, Monday to Saturday because Sunday I usually go to my mum's. I've got creamy Cajun pasta from Monday, barbecue chicken pitters and rice for Tuesday, Wednesday sausage, sausage casserole mash, Thursday a chicken curry, Friday burgers and chips, Saturday a jacket potatoes. So I'm going to write down like all the ingredients I need for these meals don't know what he's doing 
yeah so i'm gonna write down all the ingredients i need for these meals and then also like i need some lunches and breakfast like basically for lewis for work and like grocing and stuff and then yeah just like snacks and stuff which yeah but these are like the main things i need to get which is like obviously for dinners so let's hope i can actually do this so just on my shopping list yeah i've done it on an envelope couldn't find paper <laughs> or like a notebook but um yeah hopefully i could just stick to this and only buy what's here hopefully i've not just got anything either who knows but yeah hopefully i could just stick to this and i've got to go to need to get ready and then i want to go i'm gonna go to out i already said i'm going to out do i okay so i'm not gonna lie it's actually the next day i didn't go shopping yesterday i just it got late and then i got a really bad migraine and then we went out it was firework night so i didn't go so i've come today it's a sunday when the shops are the most packed thank god i've got a parking space so now i'm gonna go do shopping and i forgot my list i forgot my list Okay, I just got back in the car. Do you know, it wasn't as stressful as I thought. It's more stressful for the TikTok. Because I was doing a TikTok of like every couple. But I got quite a lot. It probably lasted us about two weeks. And I only got up to £62, which I thought was really good. I'm in a lot of pain, though, a lot of discomfort. Um, I don't know, I just, just don't feel right. But um, yeah, I might go grab myself a little McDonald's. For the stress <laughs> and then go home back to my baba. Oh currently sit on in the McDonald's car park by myself. And in the rain, how to press in do it quickly because obviously I do have food shopping in the back. But I don't actually want to freeze uh freeze, defrost. Um I'm not even hungry now I've got it but yeah I literally just got a mayo chicken some chips and then these nacho cheese dishes because they're my favourite I don't even know if you can eat these while you're pregnant to be honest but um too late now that was actually my first time I think I opened the window so I don't steam up. That was the first time I've ever gone food shopping on my own. No. I'm not like a big food shop on my own. Like, I've obviously popped to the supermarket by myself. But I've never like gone and done like my actual food shop by myself. Which um, is quite a big thing because I have really bad, really, really bad anxiety about doing things on my own. And um, yeah, it's an accomplishment because I would never have usually done that, especially on a Sunday when it's rammed, and especially on Audi because I find Audi very, very stressful, um, especially at checkout. Like, I, it's just it stressed me out badly. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I feel like they just like throw everything at you. Um, they do it too fast and it stresses me out so doing that on my own it's an accomplishment honestly I'm proud of myself <laughs> I'm just going to quickly finish this and then go home because I was probably wondering where I am um, so yeah basically and I need to go home and cook dinner I think I'm not going to work dinner now <laughs> it's much 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 later like I'm talking it's like half 11 at night um I didn't film when I got home. I didn't even film a food shop haul because, frankly, when I got home and I just wasn't in a good place, like, I just had, like, a breakdown and things are just getting to me recently quite a lot, but it's fine. But, um, Grayson fell asleep at, like, half five. Woke up at eight o'clock. So he's now wide awake. I'm knackered, so I think I'm going to go to bed and he can save his dad <laughs> while i go to sleep um 
but yeah so that's all fun i'm just i'm just tired <laughs> all we're doing is look at baby stuff tonight um we um my buggy is now ordered which i'm so so excited for and once i get it i will show you it it is absolutely beautiful i cannot wait for it so yeah, that's pretty much my day. I'm gonna go to bed. Um, yeah, and I'll carry this vlog on tomorrow probably. Okay, so I wasn't gonna film any more today, but <laughs> has anyone ever suffered with severe reflux and heartburn? I'm pregnant. I had it bad or gruesome, but this time it's ten times worse. Like. <laughs> nothing is helping i'm thinking i might have to actually like ring the doctors and see if i can get some prescribed medication for it because i've always had reflux and heartburn um but it just gets worse when i'm pregnant and um, i've been on like lazarol for it before so i'm wondering if they can give me anything but yeah it's not nice if anyone has had severe reflux heartburn indigestion when they're pregnant please let me know what you did um, um if anything worked okay so it's the next morning i didn't film much yesterday because we just had a chill day basically and then about i done dinner early and then i popped to my friends i popped to molly's house you've probably all seen molly on here because we've been here for ages um i popped to hers for a few hours last night and then when i come home it was like nine o'clock so um I just went to bed but it's the next morning i'm currently doing a sausage casserole to put in the slow cooker i've got my sausages browning and i'm just gonna put it all in the slow cooker and just leave it because i'm a sucker for a slow cooker dinner because it's just so easy and you ain't got to stand out cook at night when you're hungry you can just dish it up so i'm a lover um of a slow cooker i'm not gonna lie in a minute just got myself ready and I've decided to just shut this water up. Um that oh my gosh it is pouring down. Literally just so absolutely pouring down. But I'm gonna go to B and M because I need to start Christmas shopping badly. Like I've literally not got one single present. Um gosh um 23 weeks today which is crazy it's gone so fast but also my clothes just look horrible on me now like this top used to look so nice and now <laughs> i just oh it just don't look good anymore like clothes just don't look good when you're pregnant <laughs> so we're just about to leave i've got a clue what he's doing but um Okay. Oh, he's, he's got his bag, put his blanket in it. <laughs> okay, so I didn't actually end up filming much today because I just didn't. I was in Wally and in all this town. <laughs> um, yeah, I just didn't really film much. Oh, <laughs> but I'll give you a quick haul of what I got in B&M because why not? It was quite stressful though because I didn't get, I couldn't get a trolley because I forgot my pal Quim. And I tried using my my door key, it didn't fit, so I couldn't couldn't get a trolley. So I just a basket, so I couldn't get a lot. I so I do need to go back. And do you know what? Right, so I didn't put Chris in the buggy. I let him walk the whole way round the shop um, because obviously he's got to get used to walking before the baby comes. And do you know what? He did a really good job. He walked around the shop like such a good boy. But we got to the aisle with cars, diggers, and that's his obsession at the minute. And then he wouldn't leave the aisle. We had it on the floor screaming tantrum, which resulted in me carrying a two-year-old, my handbag, and a very heavy basket <laughs> while six months pregnant. Uh, it wasn't ideal, but it, prior to that, he was such a good boy. So I'll let him off. But I'll give you a quick haul of what i got um i literally just packed this bag back away because i filmed it on tiktok 
and I've got to do it again, but it's, it's fine. So, first thing I got was this little stacker box. This is literally £3. And basically, for one of Grayson's Christmas presents, I'm going to do like a craft box. So, I'm going to get like pens, paints, it's all craft stuff. Put it in a box and that, that he will have it. Because he loves a good, he loves drawing and things like that. So, I got that to do that with. I start to it. Oh, I got a water bottle that I've already cleaned and started using. <laughs> because when I'm pregnant, I get so thirsty. Like, so thirsty. And I don't know if anyone else just thinks it's nicer drinking out of a water bottle. Or if that's just me. Um, I might just be weird. <laughs> I got some knives and forks. These were literally £5 for 16 pieces. They're really ugly though. Uh, they are quite ugly. But it's fine because they're in a drawer um yeah because all my forks have disappeared for some reason i think this takes them to work and not bringing them home personally but it's fine and they're only a, these ones are only a five so if they go missing or fucking break i don't really care i got one of these uh, because this stuff's just miracle workers and when you have a two-year-old that's going through a phase of throwing every single drink and every single bit of food they have on the floor and you have a carpet, it's lifesaver. I've currently got a massive stain of coffee on my floor because you picked my coffee up the other day, whole cup, not even had one sip, poured the whole thing on the floor. I love him to pieces, but that, it gets it gets to me. It, it does get, that's my chair by the way, it does get to me. I then just got a Fabulosa, a little mini one, because why not and i had this smell the other day and it just smells unbelievable like oh it's actually unreal like you actually need to get this one it's the sweet raspberry snow unreal it smells right that was more like christmas stuff in that so i got this big box of haribo like jelly babies and wine guns i got this for my mum because it's her birthday on sunday and these are like her favourite sweets, like Jelly Babies anyway. I think she's my god, but Jelly Babies especially are her favourite. So I got her those. Um, I think that's like £3, I think. I don't, I'm not sure. Um, I got... You get it? These little Kinder Snowmen for Grayson for Christmas. Like these stocking or whatever. Um, they were like £2. But he loves a bit of chocolate, don't we all? So I got him those. I then got him some little jelly tots because these are his favourite sweets. He love, love, loves these. So I got him some of those. I then got him this little craft ring because I just thought that was really good. Like, it has all like gems and pom poms and like, I don't know, just loads of different things that we can make a lot of mess with. Um, and what else? It has 655 pieces and it was only £4, well, 3 99 So I thought that was a bargain. Um, so I got one of those for him, just so we can. It's more for me because I love a bit of arts and crafts. So I'm going to get grossed into it. <laughs> I picked up some felt tips, which I know I'm going to regret. But you get 15, they're only £2.99, uh, £2.50 even. And he will only have these supervised because my child will draw on anything and everything he possibly can. Um, so, supervision only with these. But, got him those to go in his craft box. I got him this massive colouring book that's got like loads and loads of pages in it. Because he loves, loves, loves colouring in. Even though he doesn't obviously colour in properly, he loves colouring in on a colouring book. Um... So I got in this one and it's got like, oh no, loads of pages. It doesn't say how many. But it was only £1.99. I thought that was well cheap. And like, we love we love a good colouring book. I do love colouring in, I'm not going to lie. We usually do it so like, we'll open it up. <laughs> and I'll like colour one page and Grace will colour the other page. Because he loves, he loves me to draw with him. Oh, I got you some toothbrushes. These are for Christmas, obviously. These are for now. Just got some little Bing toothbrushes because he has lost... He has these exact toothbrushes and he's lost them both. So, pick some new ones up so he can brush his teeth because I did have to give him my toothbrush last night. <laughs> I got him... If you're 
kids love cars, diggers, trucks, ambulances, place cars. B&M is the place to be at the minute. Honestly, the whole half an aisle full full of it all. Um, I've got him an ambulance. This is only fiver. Only a fiver because he's obsessed with like police cars, ambulances, fire engines, helicopters, bin lorries, diggers, everything like that. He's obsessed. So I'm gonna get him all things like this for Christmas. Um, so I've got him a little ambulance. It has like buttons. It has lights and stuff. Right. He will love that. He was pushing it around the floor in the shop. <laughs> and then the last thing I got was the fire engine. And the fire engine was only seven pound. Um, and this also has buttons and stuff, but this one still has the plastic in there, so it doesn't make a noise. But yeah, I thought that was good for seven pound. And then that's everything I got. But I do want to go and get the police car one, the bin lorry one, and the diggers. And also, I want to get some cars and that. But again, because I didn't have a trolley, I physically couldn't hold it all. Um, so I need to go back when I have a child free day, which is never, never, never. But when I have a child free day, sometime, hopefully, I get one. Um, and I'll go back, I'll make sure I bring the pound coin and I'll get a trolley um, and then I can go and get everything that I want to get for him. I did also get a really pretty photo frame but I've already put it in my living room with pictures in it so I'll show you that tomorrow or whatever. So yeah, that's everything from B&M.